Well, we've all been waiting for this. This is Reno's first ride. All this groundwork that we've been gone through in this last few days, I think is going to definitely pay off. My husband, he always helps me with the first ride, possibly two. He helps keep me safe. The horse actually looks to him for comfort also, besides being focused on me all the time, which is really good in case he gets scared, my husband can control him. So the first thing I do when I step on is we get used to this one side. We do a little flexing on this one side. We don't let him see me out of the other eye yet. I move a little bit around him, roll the side a little bit, and then we'll move over to the other side. As soon as he sees me out of that other eye, we'll relax, pet him. I do a lot of petting on their head. Do a little flexing on that side. Try to touch him all over. I've been trying to work with him a little bit on seeing me out of one eye and the other and the, and the then the other one. That way he doesn't jump or spook too much. So I want him to look at me, I want him to smell me, I want him to flex a little bit, make sure I've got control of that nose. I like to have him soft and get some uh, control over that nose before I take that first ride. That way if anything happens I can take and, and do a one rein stop with him or try to at least. I do a lot of petting on him, a lot of talking to him, a lot of movement. The one thing I don't want to do is just sit up there. I think that's the worst thing you can do on a colt's first ride is just sit up there like a bump on the log. You need to make as much noise and move around on them horses as much as possible on that first ride. If you do that the first ride, then from every ride on there on, you're a lot more safer because they're already used to all that by the first ride. So a lot of times you can get kind of in a pickle on the first two or three steps. So we're going to take one or two steps, stop and relax. See right there, we're going to stop and relax. Move around, move the saddle around. Ask for another couple steps. He asks for too much right off the bat, and sometimes it's just too much for him, and, and they can get a little too excited. So we're going to take this one step at a time. There's a lot of footage, so I've had to put this into four different videos on his first ride, because I recorded the whole thing. Because I didn't want you guys to miss, miss any of this first ride. This is so critical on getting this first ride to be done quietly, safely, without him getting scared or me getting hurt. It's very important. Right off the bat we're going to do a lot of, of flexing side to side. I want him to see me out of both of those eyes. I'm going to do a little disengaging in the hips and getting him to take a couple steps here and there. A lot of petting, a lot of talking to him. making sure my nose is soft. You can tell he's still a little nervous. He's got his tail clamped down. So we're going to do just a lot of petting, a lot of talking to him, a lot of little steps until he starts to relax a little bit. Once he laxes a little bit, we're going to take a couple more steps. A couple more steps. Notice we don't just walk him straight out, we're walking in a circle. There you go. All this groundwork that we've done, he already knows <clears throat> what we're going to be doing in this session. I'd like to prepare them for this first ride as much as I can. So everything that I ask him, he already knows. He's not confused. He already knows all these little steps, all the processes. We're not going to get up there and pull and jerk and and uh, kick him in the belly and and uh, jerk his mouth around. 
So the first few steps when we walk, start walking around is I'm just going to just move my hand a little bit, rub his neck. I'll start moving to where once he gets comfortable with me um, move, rubbing on his neck, I'm going to move back and forth from his neck to his butt. Being sure that I always stay on the side that my husband is on when I'm moving around with that arm. Because if I cross over and move on the other side, then he could jump on top of my husband, and I want him to stay safe also. So whatever side he is on is the side I'm going to be moving on out of that eye. See, so I'm going to move a little bit around on his neck. I'm going to move the saddle around a little bit. I'm going to move my arm up and down so we can see some movement up above him. I'm going to move my legs around. See, these are like the boat buoys. I'm going to start moving my legs up and down. And I remember what he did to those boat buoys. When they started moving up and down, he went to cow kick them and strike. And so I've already done my groundwork in that part. So when I start moving my legs up and down and around, uh, he's not going to get too excited over that because he's already had that done to him. I'm going to move my hand back and forth. Remember, we're starting little increments. We're not doing it too fast right now. Just going back from his butt to his neck. When I go from his butt to a neck, I'm going to bring my hand out a little farther out to the side so he can see that movement coming up towards his eye. See? I start low by my knee, and then, then I'm going to start getting a little bit more wilder with my arm. And then I'm going to start tapping my leg. When I feel him kind of brace a little bit when I'm tapping my leg, I'm going to reach up there and touch his neck and reassure him. So I'm going to move my hand a little bit, up and down, touch his neck, touch his butt, touch his neck. I'm going to move my hand a little bit, adding a little bit of noise, slapping my hand on my leg. I'm going to reach up and reassure him that it's okay. And I'm, I'm just going to do little increments where I'm going to get a little bit higher with my arm, a little bit louder when I'm slapping my leg. If I feel him brace or get a little worried, I'm going to reach up and touch his neck. I'm going to go up above his head. Don't start out when you're starting these colts. Just go right up and, and start moving around really rambunctiously. Start, start lightly, start quietly, and just build on that. Everything is a building process with these colts. So when I feel that he's comfortable on that side, we're going to stop, we're going to get him to flex again, make sure that that's still good. And then I'd like to move to the other side and do the other side. So you jump just a little bit when we move to the other side. Not bad though. And so everything that I just did on the one side, we're going to do on this side now. Starting off exactly the same, just by moving a little bit and just rubbing his neck. Moving a little bit. There's my legs. I'm going to move my legs a little bit. I'm not kicking him. I'm just moving my legs up and down. So I want him to see movement on his side. I'm going to start just by rubbing his neck again, moving my hand out a little bit with that hand on the rein. I have my hand on the horn. So that way if he does jump or move, I'm not pulling on his face, I'm not grabbing with my legs to scare him, okay? So I've got a hold of the horn, just in case he does move quickly, so I'm not grabbing him. See, like right there, I just pulled his head around just a little bit, and my husband got him to face up, and he stopped. So if we hadn't done all this groundwork right off the bat, that right there could have turned into a grab in the butt and went to bucking. So everything that I've done, I've prepared him for this first ride. I want his nose soft. I want him listening to my husband. I can't stress enough on doing the building blocks, foundation work, groundwork, round pinning on these colts prior to this first ride. A lot of people, they think, uh, you know, you need to be up there in a day or two and do all this stuff on them. But honestly,